Miguel Zilva, lovely to see you again. Thank you very much. Uh, back, back again in the Connected Media IP studio. Absolutely. What are you showcasing this year at Vimond at NAB Show 2017? At NAB, we're actually launching a, a suite of uh, new tools that we're very excited about. Um, we've taken our entire platform, our entire platform proposition for online video, um, pre-production, production, and then post-production. And we've actually then uh, um, created a suite of different tools and applications that can work independently one from the other. So we're launching several of these, of these applications. One of them is for rights management, to, uh, to be able then to, uh, for a broadcaster or a content provider, to be able then to manage all the different, the complexities of, uh, of, of the rights that they have available mm -hmm. and how that actually translates into an operational uh, product, being able to publish and unpublish things automatically depending on the rights that they have, um, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, along with the same, the, the same lines, we've launched a, a tool for managing uh, live IP broadcasts. Um, so if you are the type of uh, broadcaster or distributor that has many hundreds of different channels uh, available already on OTT, uh, you're able to use that tool basically to manage the, uh, the live workflow uh, of, that, uh, of that broadcast out mm -hmm. on the internet. Mm -hmm. And we're also launching then uh, uh, um, a new version of, uh, or an updated version of our video cloud editing solution that we talked about last time that I was yes, here with you last yeah. year. How, how, is, how is that? Going. Oh, that's been fantastic. I think there's uh, a lot of interest from the uh, from broadcasters in general. I think one of the things that we're seeing in this industry is that now more than ever, basically, all the broadcasters are, are moving their workflow to the cloud, essentially, mm. or to an IP-based workflow, mm -hmm. so that they can be a lot more agile. They're competing against social media, they're competing against the Reddits, the Facebooks, the YouTubes, um, the Facebook, you know, in any social media platform that you can mm. think of, basically. Uh, they're competing against them for the immediacy of news and the relevance, shall we say, to the user. Mm. So to them, it's very important to be able to have tools that allows them to capture the video and also distribute it on that same social media platform or on their own service with the same speed and accuracy that, uh, that uh, the same social media platforms do themselves. So the, this kind of change in the industry um, has presented a challenge and, and a real opportunity also for Vimon to be able to Absolutely. fulfill that. Absolutely, yes, mm -hmm. definitely. I mean, something, uh, I think I, I read recently that the more than 77% of Reddit users um, get their news from that social media site. And it's also really high for Twitter as well, something like 66%. And for Facebook, over 50% as mm -hmm. well. Uh, a lot of these, so basically, the people are used to getting their news on their social media feeds today. Yeah. And if you're a broadcaster, and, uh, and basically the way that you distribute the news are through traditional channels, mm. then, then you're you got competing, you've got a problem. You're mm. competing against uh, the immediacy. And as, as we've seen from this whole fake news debate, basically, what people read on social media kind of like becomes the truth, the de facto, just because it was immediate and it was available and it yes. was there for them to consume. Yeah. So they need to be able to compete against that. And one of the ways they're doing that or the opportunity that became available for Vimon was to provide a tool that would allow them basically to capture the same uh, uh, live feeds that they're putting out on their, on their, um, on their OTT services mm -hmm. and being able to create news stories out of that and distribute them on social media um, at the same speed within minutes or seconds basically. Bearing in mind what you've said about about this need for broadcasters to um, to compete with social media in terms of immediacy, and the change that's meant for Vimond and the opportunity, wh where is the company going to be in five or ten years? Because things move so fast in this industry. Absolutely, absolutely, and I think uh, all of our customers. There's two things that they really like about Vimond. Number one is that uh, mm -hmm. we have. Um, kind of like a finger on the pulse in the industry and we, we make all these tools that are very relevant uh, to, um, to, uh, to their workflow and then the way they operate today and what they need to become to mm. be able to compete against the new world of broadcasting, to put it that way. The second thing that they like, which ties very likely, you know, very nicely into the fact that we make these tools, is that we are broadcasting experts because mm. we were a broadcaster ourselves, yes. or we are a spin-off of a broadcaster, mm. and we made we were our first clients, and so we were ones that basically built an OTT, a very successful OTT service, to begin you with. You really get it, uh, yes. We really get it. We mm. we we believe, and that uh, resonates very well with the uh, broadcasters that are trying to do the same. Well, Miguel Silva, great to talk to you again. Thank you very much for coming by. Thank um, you and very we wish much. you the best of luck with all the, the new products you've announced. Um, we look forward to hearing next year how well they've done. Thank you very much.